What's up my sugies? Ashley here and in today's video we are going to do a video all about beauty and makeup products. I'm going to go over all of the products that I got from Sephora's most recent beauty insider sale, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I am also going to go over some wonderful beauty gift sets for the holiday season for those that you love. So if you are interested in seeing this video, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, we are going to start out with the beauty sets. I am super excited about these. One of them I have on and I just broke into it a little bit early. Thanks to our friends over at lookfantastic.com. Part of this video is sponsored by them and they were kind enough to send me these sets. These were sets that I picked on my own and these are all my true and honest opinions. So the first one, like I said, I am wearing, it is their Wonder Beauty Lip Oil. I also got the complimenting under eye mask, which I'm super excited to try, but that is the only thing I've broken to early just because I have been so excited to try it. I couldn't help myself and I am in love with it. It is a very shiny, almost like a lip gloss, but it is an oil that goes on your lips. It's got a nice doe foot applicator. Very, very shiny, but not sticky at all. So I love it because I can wear it with my mask and I don't have to worry about it um, being sticky or having any residue on my face. I also love it because you can wear it by itself and it is a clear color as well as wearing it on top of lipsticks and mixing it with other things to get the perfect shade for you. So definitely check that out. That is my favorite so far that I've tried. The other products I have not tried yet. I am super excited, like I said, about this. It is also by Wonder Beauty and it is their Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. So this comes with a set of six pairs and who doesn't love a good under eye mask for those dehydrated eyes? I definitely have issues with that. So these will be perfect. You leave them on for 10 to 15 minutes and then take them off. And I think these are also really great even if you don't suffer from chronic under eye dryness like me because they're great to wear and then put on your makeup because it gives it a more moisturized finished look when you complete your makeup. So those are really good. I think those two together would be a really nice little Christmas gift or stocking stuffer. So really, really good gift ideas here as well. The next is a little bit bigger. So I'm going in order from smallest to largest. And this is Fab and Fabulous by First Aid Beauty. And it is a kit full of all of their goodies. First, we have the travel size of the resurfacing liquid, which is a 10% AHA liquid. And then next is the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. So if you love masks, then there is one included in this kit. The next is the Ultra Repair Cream, which I have tried before. It is a little bit thicker like the pharmacy one that I have. So really, really good um, to have as well. And then a facial cleanser and a retinol eye cream. So a ton of good products in here, really great for someone to have from start to finish so they can literally have their entire skincare routine in this gift right here. And last but certainly not least, I am so excited to try this. I have been wanting one for so long and now I have my own. It is not only one that I've been wanting to try, but it is modern because you can use it with your phone. And that is the Pura and Nest. This is a diffuser and it comes with two different scents so you can customize the fragrance in your home. So it comes with bamboo and grapefruit and you connect it the diffuser um, that you plug in, you connect it to the app on your phone and you can control the not only the scent but all sorts of different things with just the touch of your phone. So super excited to try this. I will open it up and show you the contents inside and then of course report back with my findings. So as you can see here, it comes with the actual diffuser that you just plug into the wall. It looks similar to our Alexa. And then here are the two scents right here. And I actually am going to bust out the grapefruit because I love myself a good citrus note. Nothing better than a citrus scent in my personal opinion. Oh, say she thinks I'm talking to her. Alexa, nobody's talking to you. Sorry, I don't know that. Alexa, stop. Why is she all up in my business? 
I have to unplug her. So this is the grapefruit. Looks similar to the um, Bath and Body Works, like the oil plugins. Oh, oh my gosh! I'm plugging this in right now. I am so. How do I do this? I'm so excited. Download the Pure app. Follow the instructions before plugging in. Safety information. Do not let device tip over. Let's smell bamboo while we're here. But I really love me some grapefruit. Anything citrus, I love. Yeah, that's not, not for me. But this one, we are going in. We're going in with the grapefruit. Okay, I heard it click. We're gonna put the cap back on. We're gonna plug it in. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited I'm plugging in right now. Okay, so we are plugged in and we are in action, ready to go. I am so excited about this. Woo! Okay, now moving on to the Sephora items that I purchased. I'm gonna go through all of them and I'm gonna tell you if I love them or if I would leave them. And there are a couple of loves and there are a couple of leaves, honey. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First, we are going to talk about my classic Josie Marin Argon Oil in the light version. I love this. This is a classic. I would really recommend only using this at night because it is a little bit heavier, so your skin can get a little oily if you leave it on during the day. Um, totally doable, even though it's the light version. I just like, I like the oils better at night. Speaking of oil, I also got the Murad Serum. And this was supposed to have so many different vitamins, minerals, nutrients of all kinds to make my face look snatched and beautiful. And when I tell you I looked hideous because I had so many breakouts from this oil, I boxed that bad boy up and got it away from me as quick as I could because for almost, I think it's regular priced $78, $80, something like that, not happening. I'll just use my Josie Marin Argon Oil all day long, but I am not going to use an oil that's going to break me out that does not work with my skin. It's unfortunate because I have been singing their praises so much recently because I love their glycolic vitamin C serum and I love their face wash, but this was definitely a flop for me. Moving on to the moisturizer, similar to this one, I got the Pharmacy Ceramide Moisturizer. Now that in specific is amazing. I know that they have two that are very similar, so be sure that if you wanna get the same one, I'll link it of course directly, but if you're looking on your own, make sure you get the one with ceramides in it. I also love this product for many reasons, one being the physical aspect of it, the components that they put together, are definitely out of this world. I love that it has the honeycomb shape to it, the wood top to it. It has a spatula that is metal so you don't have to worry about bacteria. You can clean it, wash it, reuse it. And the best part about it all, it magnetizes to the top of the canister. So you don't have to worry about losing that little old spatula that it comes with because sometimes I see in products that when you unscrew the lid, they put the spatula on the inside of the lid. but how sanitary is that and what if you take it out and lose it but when it's magnetized to the top you don't have to worry about it you can set it on your vanity and you're good to go so that was definitely a win for me i definitely would repurchase that if you were in the market for a moisturizer that and the drunk elephant proteiny peptide that i talk about all the time is definitely a good one to try next is a definite flop for me and that is the kula self tanning bronzer for your face and the dry spray for the rest of your body. I didn't even make it to the dry spray because I hated the facial serum so much. I used it diligently for like four days. And when I tell you I still look like Casper the Friendly Ghost, there was no change. Not even a quarter of a shade. I looked the exact same color. I don't understand if it's a facial tanner why would it not tan my face? I even went so far as to leave the residue on my hands to see if it would turn them orange. Nothing, I got nothing. So I don't know if it's user error, I don't know if it's something I did wrong, but if you have a good suggestion 
for a good self tanner for your face, please let me know because there are a lot of times, especially with work, that I don't wanna go to work with makeup on, but I'd like to have a little bit of color and not mismatch the rest of my body. Speaking of needing suggestions for, I definitely am going to need your help with a concealer because as I said in my other Sephora video, Becca is gotten rid of their Aqua concealer, which I loved, and now I need to find a concealer to replace it. I tried the Rare Beauty concealer. It was definitely a flop for me. Great packaging, great components, love the doe foot applicator, but the color was heinous. It was very white for me and it was supposed to be like my medium olive color. And I also did not like the way that it sunk right into my crepey under eye skin and made them look like they were 90. So definitely did not work for me. I'm going to have to return it. It's a very unfortunate. I had very high hopes for it with the sale. It was only $19. So perhaps if you have another suggestion for me, I would greatly appreciate it because I love a good concealer again for those days where I'm wearing little to no makeup. That is going to be the only thing that I do if I put on anything that I put on my face. So a concealer is really, really important for me and one that doesn't have to be set and I can just slap on, blend in, and be good to go. Moving on to hair care, I got the Olaplex set and I love it. I think it's just a perfect gift for just about anybody because everyone loves good hair care products and it comes with a shampoo, a conditioner, I did not know this, so don't make the same mistake as me, but it comes with a bond builder. And that is something that when you wet your hair, you put it in, it's supposed to build the bonds, you leave it in for about 10 minutes, and then you shampoo and condition your hair. So it does come with that as well. That's the third item. And then the last item is a leave-in conditioner. It's just gonna help nourish and moisturize your hair to keep it strong and healthy. I think this is, like I said, an amazing gift. I love it for myself. I was thinking about getting it and um, perhaps giving it away as a gift, but I ended up using it and I love it so much for myself. I will say after using it, I would recommend using a very, very small amount because the shampoo goes a really long way. Um, the conditioner is pretty standard, but as far as the shampoo, a little bit does go a really long way. So if you use it sparingly, it should last you a good amount of time. And then last but certainly not least, my favorite of everything that I purchased, it is the Sephora Collections Makeup Brush Set. Now this set to me is like the quintessential makeup brush set. I don't know why I'm even buying makeup brushes because, you know, I have plenty, but somehow I justified it and I purchased them probably because they run sale. But I seriously am in love with these brushes and I've used every single one of them, including on my face today, and I love the way that they apply makeup to your face. So the first one I'm gonna go through is a domed brush. I use it for concealer under my eyes and I also use it for cream contouring, blending that out. It is an amazing shape. It's nice and large, so you really can get into those crevices, and I think it just should be a staple in your makeup brush collection. The next is very similar, except instead of it being domed, it is pointed because it is flat, so it's not round. It's going to be a pointed, flat brush, and I love this for also blending out concealer in smaller areas, as well as using a good I don't wanna say cut crease brush, but definitely blending and getting a little bit of a harsher line in the outside corners of your eye just for a, an all over shadow. I did that with one of my foiled ones and I love the result of it. So super versatile and universal as well. Moving on to the powder brush, it is amazing. The size is perfect. It's like in between a powder brush and a blush brush. So it's kind of like a hybrid size wise and it is not too stiff and not too flimsy. I'd say a little bit more on the flimsy side as far as it's not short and stacked. It's definitely got some give to it, but really, really good. Again, I used it for my all over powder and to blend out my blush today. And I love, love, love that brush. And then the last two brushes, 
I don't know which one is my favorite out of the two. The one is a detailer brush and I use that for spot concealing any breakouts or blemishes that I have on my face as well as my inner corner highlight to just give my eyes a little bit of brightness and to look more awake because it's super, super small so it's perfect for detailing those areas. And then last but certainly not least is the Kabuki brush and it's not a flat top Kabuki but it's not a domed Kabuki. It's just got a little bit of a curve to it and it is the best foundation brush I have ever tried in my entire life. The density of it is perfect because I do find often when they're a flat top kabuki or a kabuki of some kind, they, they, they are pretty dense. So when you're blending or buffing out your foundation, sometimes I experience it almost pushing the foundation because I feel like it's a little too densely packed. But then if it's too loose, then it's just kind of smearing it around your skin and not really blending it into the skin. This to me is the perfect hybrid between the two. It's not too dense and it's not too loosely packed. It's just enough and it's not too flat and not too domed either to get in all of the crevices and areas of your face. I literally swirl it around, swirl it around my forehead and I'm good to go. It sort of reminds me of those old Bare Minerals commercials where they would swirl and tap the brush. That's really what I feel like it is on my face, but it, it it's with liquid foundation. So I think it's a perfect kabuki blending brush you have ever used in your life. I'm so excited to know if you guys love it as much as I do. So if you get it or get any of these items, please do not forget to tag me or comment down below. I love to connect with you guys and get your feedback, even on things like concealers, because there's so many things that you guys have shared with me, not just me sharing things with you that have helped me out too. So let me know if you have this set. Let me know if you've gotten this set, if you've used it, what you think, your thoughts. I really can't wait to hear. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up my Sephora and holiday gift set suggestions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.